Hi, my name is Karina Simone, and I'm here to present you this work, Individual and Contextual Characteristics and Walking for Transportation Among Older Brazilians Living in an Urban Center, a Population-Based Study. This study was developed by the Observatory for Urban Health in Belo Horizonte from Federal University of Minas Gerais. And with researchers from these five institutions in Brazil. We all know that an active lifestyle is essential to maintain health and wellness during the aging process. And among all the options of physical activities for this population, walking can be a simple, safe, and affordable one. And it's easily incorporated into everyday activities for transportation or leisure. And like other lifestyle habits, walk behavior is also, de is also determined by the interplay of individual and environmental factors. However, most, most studies that consider these factors are made in high-income countries. And we know that in developing countries, the accelerated and unequal urbanization process may impose different circumstances for this net of factors associated with physical activity. In this way, our goal was to investigate the association of individual and contextual characteristics with work for transportation among older Brazilians in a large urban area. For that, we used the data from a household survey called BH Health Study with two sanitary health districts of the city of Belo Horizonte from August 2008 to February 2009. These health districts were subdivided according to the Health Vulnerability Index, a composite indicator that considers aspects related to sanitation, housing, education, income, health, and social area. We use the three-stage probability sampling with census tracts, households, and one adult resident. For that study, we had the data of all participants aged 60 years or older in a total number of 835 participants. The variables were collected with interview and questionnaire and also the anthropometric measurements. Walking for transportation was assessed with the International Physical Activity Questionnaire, and it was divided into yes or no if participants answered if they walked for 10 or more minutes per week. Here we have the individual characteristics as independent variables, marital status, current occupation, family income, retirement income, educational level, car ownership, self-rated health, body max index, and social participation. The contextual characteristics were collected through perception scales, six perception scales of the neighborhood's physical and social environment. And we had the cover rates, sex, age group, and time of res residence in the household. We used the Poisson regression with robust variance. The overall prevalence of walking for transportation in our sample was 68.6%. Here, the variables in red were significantly associated with walking behavior in univariate analysis. Here, only the scale of walkability was significantly associated with walking behavior. And in final multivariate model, we had the scale of walkability, the family income lower than two minimum wages and from two to four minimum wages, and the self-rated health, very good and good, and high social participation associated with walking for transportation among older adults. Our finds point to some strategies that might increase in the walking levels for transportation in older Brazilians, like public policies to increase accessibility and safety, measures to expand the opportunities for social participation, like cultural activities, dance, sports, games, voluntary work, and also general health education and disease pre prevention in primary health care units. Thank you.